My grandfather came uh, to Germany for work from Albania. My dad was born there as well in Albania, but he came to Germany when he was only four, so he, yeah, he grew up in Germany. It was not always um, easy, you know, when you come from a different country, especially for, for my grandfather and for my father. They managed to do it good, and um, I'm really, really thankful that I, I could grow up with opportunities that, for example, my dad or my grandfather never had. Everyone hates losing. For me, it was always like I, I used to cry, and I remember like one game when I when I used to play um, for my hometown. We were losing six nil, and I was crying on the pitch. So my dad took me off, and uh, he went with me in the change room, and he said, "Okay, if you want to play, you can play. You have to learn to lose as well." Um, but I, I, I'm not going to let you play crying because um, it's not it's not enough it's not it's not fair to the other players that you're screaming at them. And from that day, I learned uh, to handle uh, defeats as well. But um, I remember that after that, even when when I was losing uh, the next game, yeah, I was pretending that I have pain. I was still crying, but I was not crying because I had pain. I was still crying because I was angry. But I couldn't tell my dad because <laughs> he he would have gone mad at me. I was only nine at that time, and then my dad. I remember that that he said like, um, "Yeah, you're not you're not gonna learn how nice it is to win until you feel how uh, bad it is to lose." Always uh, passionate about football. I love I love the sport. I love uh, I love winning and I hate losing, and um, that's that's what what makes me so passionate. For me, it was the opportunity to play for a professional club like Hamburg. I didn't ask questions. So if the coach told me to play center half, I play center half. If he told me to play right back, I would play right back. So um, yeah, I, I just tried to help the team. I tried to give my best and, and, and try to take uh, the opportunity that, that they gave me. I remember when I decided to sign for Everton, um, everyone in Germany was like, oh, are you sure? There are a lot of German players who went over and uh, never made it, so are you sure about that? I said, yeah, I, I don't care too much about uh, decisions that someone else made. I want just to like make my decision and, uh, and go for it. And I had this opportunity. I always wanted to play in the Premier League because I think uh, even back at that time, it was the best league. Uh, in Europe, so I thought, okay, I, I try. I go there and, and, I, and I try my best to, to get uh, into the first team and to play. Moving to a, to a different country with only 17, with a different language, with different culture, um, I knew that it's going to be difficult, but yeah, I'm not someone that um, don't want to take the risk, you know. I knew that that's my opportunity and I have to take it. For a player, it's frustrating because you are only 17. You you just think, I want to play. And I was at that time when I was at Everton, it was really frustrating because I was there, I was playing. Yeah, the, the coaches were happy with me, but I, I was not playing. So I was like, why, what's going on? Like, why everyone is talking good, but I'm not playing. So there has to be something that I don't understand. And then you get told to be patient and patient, but it's not that easy. As I said, you're only 17, 18 years old. You don't think about those things. So. Um, it was a frustrating time, but um, I had to be patient. I said, I have to go. I never played. I only played uh, well, reserve football. So it was difficult to get uh, clubs that, that wanted me. Um, and then when, when I had the opportunity to go to Italy, to Sampdoria, it was a risky one because um, it was one from, the prim from a Premier League club to a second division in Italy and um, I was really worried about it but I said well I have to I have to take a step back and try and make uh, two steps forward. It was not easy because I had a lot of friends who went a step back and then went another step back and another step back so I knew it's going to be difficult but um, I had to take the risk again to to go again to a different country again a different language again a different culture uh, again, different people around me. Um, again, different football, um, and try and try and take the opportunity that uh, Sampdoria gave me. Come on, you Gunners, subscribe. <laughs>